So I'm just going to log on as a teacher into the class area. So these class sites are provisioned using the Salamander provisioning engine. And I've just added some nice overlays and templates across the top of these class sites. So on the left hand side you've got aggregation of all the assignments that have been added to all different class sites. On the right hand side a list of the classes. So I'll just go to this one as an example. So this is 10x um, Science 3. So across the top you've got a slideshow. So this is a slideshow of work that the teacher can put on the page for the rest of the class to see. That just appear at the top of the page there. Underneath that you've got the announcement area. So this might be important announcements that the teacher wants to get out to the rest of the class. So things like trips, things that apply to the whole class. And below that you've got the assignment section. So this is where I can set assignments for the group. They'll get an email and they can also see it listed on this page here as well. Underneath that we've got the discussion board area. And on the right hand side we've got the Dropbox area where the students can drop their work for me to mark. And on the next side I've got the mark sheet where I can actually mark that work. I can upload some resources to the site, some class resources. And each student has a personal OneNote notebook that's permission specifically for them to access and contribute to. And there's also a collaboration area where pupils can work on documents together where they all have permission to access those same documents. And they've got the wiki which is a uh, website creation area where you can add some um, rich text and pictures and videos. They've got the showcase area and that's the picture area across the top of the screen and some links to important websites and then also the class calendar which will show the sims timetable for this particular class group. So I've just logged in as a student here so I can see my assignment here and I would also uh, have received an email about that assignment when it was first added. So I've got this Dropbox area that I can go to. You can see I can only see my own folder inside this area can't see the other students folders only the teacher can so if we go into here I've got some assignments already in here but um, I can create some word documents powerpoints any sort of office document in there or I can drag and drop files that I've made on my computer into this folder so I'll just create a word document inside web apps so you don't need office on your machine to be able to create these documents you could even do it from an iPad so I'll just put some text in here and give the document a title and then save that. So I can create my documents in here, I can work on them, I can save them and if I wanted to I could always come back to this class site later and carry on working on that document. I don't have to submit it straight away. It's completed and that will pop up a box, a dialog box here where I can select the actual assignment that my piece of work is actually for. So that shows you the assignments from the assignment list and then when I save that page refreshes and it's marked as completed. I can always go back in here and see any teacher annotations and I can always come back to this page and see the mark and the comments that the teacher's left for me once they've marked that piece of work. So the pupil doesn't have to create a document inside the Dropbox area. They could also edit their OneNote notebook that they've each got personal one of. So when the pupil goes to the um, student OneNote area, they can only see their own OneNote notebook, they can't see anybody else's. When they go into that document, they can then create their response to the homework. So I'm just going to log in now as a teacher to show you the teacher's view of the work. So we can see the assignments on the page here. There's a Dropbox area where the pupils have dropped in their work. But now there's an extra option called Mark Sheet for, for teachers. If we go in there, we can see a list of all the submitted work in a, a spreadsheet view, a data sheet view. And we've got some filters across the top, so I can filter this by a particular assignment. And I can just see work submitted for that assignment. And if I wanted to, I could put some comments in there for that particular piece of work. And I could also assign a grade to that piece of work as well inside the grade option. Um, now, that's not the only way you can... Um, add some uh, feedback for students. You can also open the file itself and edit the document without actually typing onto the page, which of course you could do if you wanted to. You can use the, the comment option. So I can add an annotation here. I can add a comment for a particular piece of text that I've highlighted and put in a comment from the teacher 
and save that. And when the student comes back in to look at the comments, they'll see a little speech bubble on the right hand side. So if we just put in a couple more examples to make it a bit more obvious. So I highlight this bit piece of text that the, the, the uh, students added, put in a comment attached to it. And when I save that, when the student comes back into this file, they'll actually see that little speech bubble on the side. And when they click on that speech bubble, they'll actually see the comment that I've added, which teachers added it as well. So if I just open this as a student might in a read-only view, I can click on that comment, I can see the comment, which teacher it was by, and which piece of text that particular annotation is for. So it's really useful with feedback for the students. And of course, the student can see the grade and the feedback there. So there's a number of different ways to collect in your homework um, or your assignments, or it could even be coursework. It doesn't have to be handed back in. You could just use as annotation features to give some feedback to the students and uh, help them progress that way. So that's a, a quick um, brief look at some of the features of the class sites. And these can all be provisioned automatically and permissioned automatically from your MIS data. So if you're using SIMS, CMS, ISAMS, anything like that, this can plug into that and it can create some uh, sites from a particular template. So any of these features can be put into that site. For more information on class sites, uh, responsive designs, workflows, templates, or anything else SharePoint related, please feel free to contact us via our website on the contact page or by the email address on the screen now.